Some astronauts are seen on the planet Mars, at the start of the movie, who are conducting some experiments on its soil. They are collecting the samples of dust. Then they get the news that dust storm is going to break out here, and they will have to move to their spaceship immediately. Now they all astronauts begin to advance to his spaceship. Something strikes with one of the astronauts who is also botanist among them. So he stops there. And he is lost in the sandstorm. All astronauts are trying to contact him from the spaceship but of no use. Nor they get courage to search for him. Now they all think. Mark perhaps has not been alive in this world. So they leave that place. It is seen on the planet Mars. Mark is still alive. A rod has struck in his abdomen. He is feeling much pain while taking it out. Somehow, he moves to that camp while walking. Which had been set for the shelters by the astronauts. Going there, he takes this rod out. But he is also worried thinking how will he contact with other astronauts. Neither there is spaceship. Will he be here on Mars for the whole life? He has no weapon because of this sandstorm. He knew that the next landed spaceship will be here after four years. Four years time is so much. So he is not enough food for this time period. He may also lose his breaths. So he will have to take some action. He begins to plan here. He has some potatoes. He wanted to grow more potatoes, using them. So all astronauts were conducting experiments on the soil of this planet. Mark starts to make his diary notes. And he starts the cultivation, going outside. So he may grow the potatoes. But the main problem was this here. There was no water on the planet, Mars. The only water which is brought here by the astronauts. It was enough to survive here. As being a botanist, Mark had knowledge that. How can the water be produced? And can this cultivation to bring into process? So he tries to produce water after mixing and flaming the hydrogen with oxygen atom. But there is a great explosion on the first trial. But he did not measure that oxygen which he was inhaling from there. In the next attempt, when he again tries after measuring whole oxygen. Then water starts to produce here. Now Mark produces the water or he has grown that plant by the soil. That plant grows out to an extent while observing a few days. Mark feels pleasure observing it. He gets the hope of life. It is announced in the world that Mark has not survived in this world. His funeral ceremony is also performed. Then a girl planner is seen at NASA agency who is observing the satellite images. She knows while observing the moving equipment that Mark is still alive because the placed equipment there have been shifted to another place. And these are solar panels which have been sifted by Mark. That girl reveals to his seniors and they understand that Mark is still alive. But they tell them if they travel to Mars to rescue Mark. He will be dead before we reach there. And it is also a reality. Contrarily, Mark is finding the ways instead of being worried. That a new project that will be started here after four years. And the place where it will be initiated. He needs 50 days to reach at that place. And he has already spent 70 days here. So it is better to reach that place rather than to waste the time. But that place is far from here with the distance of 2,500 kilometers. And the vehicle which he possesses, it works with the solar panel. And it cannot cross the distance more than 35 kilometers. In spite of it, Mark has this last option. It is seen on Earth that all members of NASA decide. That they will build a spaceship to send water and food to Mars. It will reach to Mars within a whole year. But Mark had already grown many potatoes there. Fortunately, those potatoes were in large numbering. But Mark knew how much time will he be alive on this meal of potatoes. He will have to contact with them in some way. Mark reaches a place where the camera is available. It is such a camera which can send Mark's photo to NASA on the Earth. And he sets the three boards there. He writes on the board, setting in the middle that, can you see me? He writes on the left board, no, and on the right board, yes. When NASA members observe it then they move the Pathfinder camera to, yes. So Mark is extremely excited thinking it is grateful thing that they know I am alive. Now he begins to talk with NASA members through the symbols. Mark is also told here that food is being sent to him there. Mark asks them that astronauts were moving on the Earth right now with whom he landed here. Did you tell them that I am here? So they tell, no. We may inform right now. 
Mark's crew feel bad when they know about it as they left Mark there. There is scene on Mars where Mark had grown the potatoes. There is explosions with no cause. And his all grown potatoes are spoiled. Mark is very grieved. All left potatoes were not enough which were in his possession. Because he had been died before the food or water reach him. So he plans the food that he used to eat in a day. He will have to eat it in low quantity so he may survive. NASA agency is seen on the Earth where they have launched a booster rocket. There were the necessary things and the food for Mark. But a bad happening occur here. That rocket is exploded as it is launched. All food is also spoiled. Nothing had supplied to Mark now. So all are very disappointed. Mark is also disheartened, knowing it. But he conveys a message to NASA, I am not among those who lose the courage. I will fight till my last breath. Inform to my parents if possible that your son was very devoted with his avocation. He is very satisfied if he loses his life. That he fought for this till the last time. And he embraced the honorable death. Now NASA agency asks assistance from China. So China gets ready to support them. Their spaceship which is going to travel after 28 days. They will rescue Mark through it. But there is one more man who suggests them an idea. That the spaceship that is coming on Earth may be directed again to Mars. Marks may come out of the orbit of Mars through that spaceship which is already on Mars. So all astronauts will receive him. But it was so dangerous. And other astronauts' life was also at risk. Moreover, 19 months had been passed for them of doing so. It means, if they come back, taking Mark on Earth. So NASA agency forbids this mission here. On the other side, Mark is seen who is engaged on Mars. He is still not losing his courage. He is very courageous. When NASA agency observes that the spaceship which was coming back to Earth. It is again returning to Mars. So they are very shocked. As we did not directed it. The matter of the fact is this. The same boy who had presented this idea, he had requested the five astronauts. That you will have to go back to rescue, Mark. Because he was your crew member. And many years may pass if we find another way. And you can reach there within a few months. So NASA team members get aggressive. But Chinese team teaches them that it is good plan. When Mark is not losing his heart and. These astronauts who are going to rescue, Mark putting their lives at risk. Who are we to say anything? They also supply food to them. Now they struggle hard to make their mission successful with the help of China. When Mark knows that his team is coming to take him. But their spaceship's fuel is not enough that they may move it on Mars. So he will have to move to the orbit of Mars, mending his spaceship. So he may accompany his crew there. So he begins to mend his spaceship. But it is too heavy. That he may not travel in it until he takes some parts of it out. So he starts to do it. Now Mark travels in this spaceship. He is feeling very suffocation there. This spaceship is not properly repaired so he is finding problem while operating and tacking it. So he loses his consciousness amid of this time period. And his contact is not made possible with anyone. So all get worried. When he restores his senses after some times. So, all are relaxed. NASA agency on Earth was also worried about this mission. And they were praying for Mark and other astronauts' protection. But a new problem occurs here. The spaceship on which Mark is present. He is finding a great difficulty to control its speed. SH, he has gone upset thinking how will his partner receive him. So he says to his crew, don't worry. I have been determined. I will soon reach you after handling the speed of it. Other astronauts throw their one part of the spaceship. As a result, Mark's spaceship speed is slowed down due to its air pressure. At last, they could pick Mark up. On the other side, Lady Commander of the spaceship is shown. Who is reaching Mark through the rope from moving chair. But the length of rope proves short here. Mark is left far from them. He says to them that I will drill a hole in my spacesuit. Mark drills a hole in his spacesuit. So the air begins to enter in his spacesuit. And his spacesuit air pressure is increased. He changes his direction I the AM way. And he begins to move. At last, he reaches that lady commander. 
He feels very pleasure as his life has saved. And he had been rescued. But the hand of Mark is slipped from the hand of Lady Commander with the little movement. But the commander soon throws a rope towards him, which is caught by Mark. At last, Mark enters that spaceship. And all takes a sigh of relief as their mission remains successful. Now it is seen that they eventually land on Earth. And Mark becomes the leader of all astronauts. And he begins to teach them if you are stuck in the space. Then how you have to rescue yourselves. Never let your hope die. The film completes on this scene here. Thanks for watching.